against uh, a pretty strong Widad defence. They've not conceded a goal in their last four games between uh, domestic league and Champions League. That includes the two legs against Beloizdad of Algeria in the quarter-finals. A 1-0 win away, a 0-0 draw at home as they resisted the pressure there. Strong play by Tucarnero up against uh, Badiauk. The referee lets it go. Meg across to Eddie Afonso. Charity on the right-hand side for the moment. Gleason swapping sides with him. It's good covering from Al Hasuni. Twelve games unbeaten, we'd add, in all competitions. They've won ten of those. They've drawn two. Draws at home to Beloise Dad. And uh, also one in their domestic league, but... Very strong form indeed. They're also uh, still alive in the domestic throne cup. As the card is shown by the referee to Badi Oak. Among the home fans is that these Widad players are maybe time wasting. Badi Oak brought into the starting lineup today. Picks up the caution. By the way, only one player from either team will be suspended for the next game if booked today. That is Kinito in the uh, home defence. Aymoud driving forward, not pressured again. Buddy out to make it 3 0. A wild attempt uh, from the winger, just come back onto the field. Well, that is concerning for the home team, the way in which the Widad runners are able to advance from midfield unopposed. forward towards Mbenza. Comes inside, it's an excellent ball, and El Mutaraji to make it 3-0. Tipped over the bar by Willington Lima, it's the first uh, real save he's had to make today. But, uh, Mutaraji looked to be just about onside. It's an excellent strike, tipped over the bar, but the uh, flag had gone up. Luanda nil, we'd had Casablanca two. Tiago Azulao own goal. And Yaya Jabran, the we'd had captain, doubling the lead just before the break. Kinito. Ken Hirsch to shoot. Looks to play the pass instead, slip through towards Yano. Farhan was there to mop up, not taking any chances with the goalkeeper. Just a little bit slow to come out. Better build-up play from the home team. Corner floated in, headed away by Mbenza. Charity again. Trying to coax the challenge from Aouk, gets the cross in. Header away. Picked up by Gleison. Gleison again. He'll fancy the shot from long range and a bit of trouble the goalkeeper like that. Remember, he struck the post in the early minutes of this second half, and the two wide men certainly can pose a threat to the Widad defence. Petro Luanda yet to find a way through. 
this Champions League uh, semi-final first leg. Continental campaign which began for them with victory against Fovu of Baham from Cameroon in the first qualifying round. They won that one in away goals. And then they got the better of AS Otto of uh, Congo Brazzaville in the second qualifying round. Former club of that man, Guillaume Benza, up front for Widad. He's currently on loan from the Belgian side, uh, well, Antwerp. Rwanda then coming second in their group behind Widad and then defeating Mamelodi Sundowns in the last eight. But is this to be a step too far for them today? And this semi final tie. Winners, remember, will play either the record 10 time African champions, Al Akhli, or the Algerians, Entente de Setif, in the final at the end of the month. Certainly, on paper, the uh, favourites uh, to uh, set two-time African champions themselves. Runners up in their domestic league last season behind uh, Billoui's dad. Free kick given away. Abdullah Haimoud brought into the starting lineup today. Serhat making way. He is on the bench this afternoon. Right, uh, Elafi is the other player who drops out compared to the side. Uh, have started in the second leg against Pelouis Dad. He is uh, on the sidelines at the moment. William Suarez always looked to play the pass. Megi. Lydia Afonso on the right. Trying to get the cross in. Blocked by Yaya Atia Ala. Left back picks it up again. Looking to drive forward. Uh, home side thought that ball had gone out of play. The assistant referee didn't move. Atia Ala carrying on, but Good covering from Pedro Pinto. Twenty-seven year old his first season in the Angola looking to win a domestic title and appear in the CAF Champions League final as well. It would be a remarkable season for Pedro Luanda if they can make it to the final. Chance for Oak, trying to cut it back towards Impenza. Certainly a third goal for the away team now would leave uh, the hosts in big, big trouble. Meggy with the change of pace. To slip it through for Yano. Glayson. Glayson driving at the away defence. Trying to get the cross in and Yaya Atiyat Ala turns it behind for another corner. Mason's latest delivery, watched all the way by Tanyoti. Let's <laughs> get to the final of the uh, CAF Cup. 1997 competition uh, no longer in play. The 
thinking about a change in just a moment. That's what brought the cheer from the home support here. That possession again. Tocarnero looking to burst into the penalty box. They might get the chance to make the substitution now. It's going to be a double change. Number 11 is uh, Job. It's a vastly experienced uh, Angolan international. He is a wide player. Glaison is going to make way here. Uh, job coming on. 34 year old. Was, uh, part of the Angolan squad at the Cup of Nations here on home soil in 2010. And Erico on as well. Double change for the home side. Yano making way, straight swap up front and a straight swap on the right wing as well. Information and Eriko, the number 27, is on for Yano up front. and certainly was one of the biggest threats to uh, the Weedad defence. Lucky to hit the post early in the second half. To Carneiro. Excellent play from the left back and he does get the shot in. Slightly uneasy handling from the Weedad goalkeeper. Pressure stays on here. Jaredi looking to pick out a teammate in the middle. The over keen play from the substitute. Enrico Castro. He was on. But, uh, was brought in ahead of this season. Portuguese born. Uh, striker who'd been in Portugal prior to arriving here in Luanda. Chaparan caught. Once again, Widad will slow the pace of the game down. Free kick's been given again here, and Chaparan getting into a bit of a confrontation with William Suarez. The two players picking up yellow cards here. To not let the tempers get the better of them. Staying disciplined, uh, very important. You don't want to be potentially suspended for the final. the atmosphere in general very well today these we'd have players Benza trying the shot a bit of frustration maybe for him Not getting much of a look in in terms of attempts on goal today confirmation of the booking for Yaya Jabran the Moroccan international midfielder the we'd have captain and William Suarez as well Benza with the touch off 
Excellent running here, might come back to Benza to make it 3-0. Midway through the second half, and that may well be curtains for Petro Luanda. The smiles and embraces on the touchline amongst the Widad coaching staff. They tell a story. They're going to leave uh, the Angolan capital today with uh, a big advantage. And you sense now that they are certainly heading for another Champions League final. We have to make sure that Benza was onside when the initial ball was played. He was certainly onside there when it was cut back to him. An emphatic finish from the striker who hasn't had uh, too much joy in front of goal today, but a 16th of the season for him since arriving on loan from Royal Antwerp in Belgium. A third in his Champions League campaign, and it is uh, going to be an emphatic victory for Widad today. So Carneiro's ball in, too much on it, and Job has got the captain's armband on now, the veteran that, since coming off the bench, first time we've really seen him on the ball. Pedro Pinto lifts it in. Sense that the atmosphere has been deflated completely here, the shot from range from Enrico Castro collected by the goalkeeper, he's not in a hurry to get up again. This match today has gone like a dream for Widad Casablanca and uh, their home stadium, which they share with their city rivals Raja Casablanca. Supporters of the two clubs do tend to create a pretty spectacular atmosphere at pretty much every home game. It's going to be quite an atmosphere at the return leg next weekend. And the Widad supporters back home in Morocco. They'll be celebrating this knowing that they're on their way to the final. And time now for a drinks break before we play the final 20 minutes here. And we'd had cruising, a classic away performance in continental competition from them here today. Champions of Africa last time in the 2017. Also won it in 1992 when they beat Al Hilal of Sudan 2 0 on aggregate in the final. Twice beaten finalists 2011 and 2019 against Esperance. And in recent years, well, they've lost in the semi finals in each of the last two seasons. Surely not this time. to fend off Raja to retain the domestic title and they're looking to win third continental crown as well they're in fabulous form at the moment and Walid Regragi's team just been too streetwise today for Petro Luanda here one of the big crowd in Luanda Yaya Atiat Allah whose uh, free kick led to the opening goal Thiago Azulao heading into his own net. And Yaya Jabran on the stroke of half time. And Guillaume Benza making it 3 0 midway through the second half with just 35% possession today. And just three attempts on target. They've managed to get three goals. William Suarez getting it back from Job. Jaredi to Carneiro. Poor delivery, and it's been the case too often today from the home team. Supporters of Al-Akhli and on top of the city will be looking at this, and they'll be pretty confident that it'll be Widad they're facing in the final should they get through. Kian Benza is coming off here. It's uh, Juvel Sumu 
who is on in his place. More clinical stuff from Impenza when the chance uh, came for him. A straight swap in the attack, Javel Sumu. Congolese centre forward. Charity again tries to make something happen at the other end. Pedro Pizza being chased by Sumu. Neatly done by the uh, home goalkeeper. to William Suarez. Charity again to Carneiro. It's across to Eddie Afonso on the right. It's a dangerous ball in and Enrico Castro couldn't direct the header on target. The uh, fans here this afternoon have already vacated their seats. The stadium is empty pretty rapidly, in fact. to enjoy plenty of possession but apart from that Gleason effort that came off the post and then the Yano follow-up that went over the bar we'd had to be fairly comfortable Jaredi does well again to Carneiro shot blocked by El Amlud Hamoud Nicely done. One for Juvel Sumu to chase. He's not going to get there. Gregory might think about another change. No need to take any more risks now. Confirmation that Benzo was coming from behind Kinito when that ball was played. 1 2. With El Mutaraji. And then the uh, emphatic finish when he got the ball back again. Heimut, the 20 year old midfielder coming off here. It's been a yellow carded as well. And we'd had to set to make a double change here. Salahedin uh, Beniashu makes his way onto the field in place of Dilla Haimud, who's been stretched off. We're going to see Anas Serhat coming on as well. It's a, a central midfielder.
question is who is he replacing? Zwayer El Mutaraji makes way for Serhat. Mutaraji with an arm around him from his coach, a kiss and a hug as well. And that change uh, should just be an indicator that we don't have to. Just going to try to make sure they see this one out now without conceding a goal. We've got the three away goals. Home team are going to make a double substitution themselves. Next time they play, yeah, it stops, I think. Job has made an impact really since coming on. Eddie Afonso. Tiago Azulao and Erico Castro waiting in the penalty box, but it's punched away by the goalkeeper. El Hasuni. Job. That's a good ball in. Well dealt with by the away defence. You need to do sense that this we'd had uh, back line is very comfortable today. Even one goal now for home team may not have a huge impact in the tie, you feel, as well. Charity wins the free kick. Oh, by Buddy Oak. Well, they are able to make that change. Charity has been a, a terrific shift today. He is the man who makes way, and uh, Anderson Cruz and Angola International comes on. Job's free kick. Oh, it's left by the defender. And it's gone into the net. Well, the arms are raised from the Widad players looking for the offside flag. And uh, the question is, did anybody get a touch on that? I'm not sure they did. It may not give them much hope, but Petrolwanda at least have a consolation today. Ashraf Dari left it. Job's uh, ball into the box, evaded everybody, even uh, his teammate Kinito arriving at the back post. And the veteran will be credited with the goal. The uh, vast home support here today have something to shout about. It might be too little too late in the tie, certainly too little too late today, but something to celebrate at least for these uh, Petroluanda fans. And really, they deserve it for all that they've put into this match today. We down were cruising, and just a reminder for them that they can't completely switch off. We've seen some remarkable turnarounds in knockout ties in the UEFA Champions League uh, this season, and in recent seasons, it would be. Uh, Absolutely remarkable if Petro Luanda could save this semi-final tie, given that they were 3-0 down. They've got one back, and uh, the fans who have not already left the stadium certainly given them a big lift here. Enrico Castro, not quite on the same wavelength as Thiago Azulao has made an impact since coming on, big, powerful centre-forward, playing in the lower leagues in Portugal before making the move here. Well, 
they need another one. And then another one. Serhat wins the free kick. Suarez Job playing it to Tocarnero and a second goal would uh, raise the roof here and very nearly an own goal Jaya Atiyat Ala and uh, Hamid Farhan uh, making the point to him why didn't you head it the other way Sure, he intended to do that. He's given away the corner, it could have been worse. Ever so close to a second goal for Petr Luanda. He's got the war paint on. He's been in a battle today. He uh, made the first goal for his team. Nicky, the uh, player who made way for that last change for the home side. Mauro Simão Maia, as he is uh, commonly known, coming on. The youngster adding some fresh legs for the last few minutes here. Not completely giving up hope yet. Job, the veteran. Didn't really mean to score the goal, but he did. Free kick evading everybody on its way. Out comes Welly to Lima to claim against uh, Juvel Sumu. Brazilian goalkeeper. He was playing in Portugal from Maritimo on the island of Madeira before moving here. Another change for the home side. Eddie Afonso is coming off. And we're going to see Danny Satonio come on. Reshuffling, just trying to make the last few minutes as chaotic as possible. Alexander Santos, the man in charge of Pedro Luanda, he was uh, appointed in August of last year. Worked with uh, Jose Pizeiro and Porto and Braga, two of Portugal's leading clubs. He worked in the Middle East as well. assistant coach at Kong in France uh, a few years back and of course uh, managed in his home country as well before coming here to Angola main job giving Petro Luanda their first domestic title in 13 years after they just missed out in the last campaign to Sagrada Esperanza in a way this uh, Champions League run has been a huge bonus
Widat had been beaten just once in six previous meetings with Petro Luanda before today. 1-0 here in last season's Champions League. There's been a bit of a rivalry developing between these clubs in recent times. And Widat on top today for all the home side's pressure, for all their possession. Group stage in 2019-20 when Widad went through in second place and uh, Petaluanda went out in the group stage. We're in the same group again last season, of course, as uh, Ayman El Hasuni comes off. It's been a terrific shift from him today. And Mohamed Rahim is on for the last uh, couple of minutes. Defender for a midfielder, just trying to shore everything up. Three seasons we'd had have won at home to Petroluanta in this competition, including just a few weeks ago in the group stage. Remember, it would be uh, astonishing for the Angolan side to make it through to the final now. Stunning victory against Mamelodi Sundowns in the quarter-finals, and maybe that was their Champions League final. That was their big moment in this campaign, and we had proving to be too strong, it seems, but there is still a second leg to come, and there are still four minutes of injury time to come here this afternoon. And, uh, unseemly push on Rahim, who gets a yellow card for his troubles. bookings for the we had players today and it's a red card a red card flashed uh, by the referee and uh, an unnecessary flash point in this game that was Raheem with his arm around job and then uh, William Suarez who had already been yellow carded coming in and uh, getting involved in a situation when he really didn't need to. He holds his hand up, he will miss the second leg. Pedro Luanda, a chastening afternoon for them, and their Brazilian holding midfielder heads off for a slightly early shower. They will finish this game down to ten men. It's been an eventful afternoon. Job. Tocarneiro. Maybe they can get another goal. Not a huge amount to shout about today for the big home support. We'd add. Maybe they can take advantage of having the extra man for the last uh, couple of minutes of stoppage time. Serhat caught in possession. Cross in from the left. Anderson Cruz. Too late for him to make a big impact today. Rahim sending it forward. That one will run through to the goalkeeper. Well, 
There's been plenty of drama in this season's uh, CAF Champions League. Uh, and, uh, eventful afternoon here in uh, Luanda today. Doesn't mean this tie is finished. Not quite anyway. We had Casablanca still have to get the job done next weekend at home in the return, but Petro Luanda think have uh, just been shown up a little bit today. We'd had to be more streetwise. They've produced a very impressive away performance in continental competition. We had uh, surrendered possession for much of the afternoon. They've been defensively very comfortable. Maybe still time for the home side to grab a second goal, which would make things that bit more interesting in the return. Anderson Cruz holds up the cross, but it's gone behind, and the referee will uh, blow for full time any second now. Just allow this kick to be taken, I think, but a lot uh, of the fans who had not already left the stadium have taken that as their cue to head for the exits. Wally Drigragi's uh, Widad with uh, a pretty comprehensive win today. In the first leg of this semi-final, the full-time whistle is met with silence around the ground because Petro Luanda have been uh, Beaten 3-1 here today, and uh, the Moroccans would appear to have one foot in the final later this month. They still have to get the job but completed next weekend at home. But a very impressive victory today. Thiago Azulao's early own goal. Yaya Jabran, the captain, smashing in the second goal on the stroke of half-time. Then Guillaume Benza, their leading scorer, making it 3-0 midway through the second half. And although Job with a free kick that sailed past everybody and in, gave the home fans something to shout about late on. The afternoon finish with the sending off of their pivotal Brazilian midfielder, William Suarez. He will miss the return next week when uh, Petro Luanda face what looks to be an impossible job if they're to turn this tie around and reach their first Champions League final. The final score here today in Luanda. Petro Luanda one, we had Casablanca three. We'd have winning with just 33% of the possession, three attempts on target. Absolutely clinical stuff. Well, just to take you back through. Uh, Today's action, the 16th minute opener, Yaya Atiyat Ala with the free kick, which was nodded into his own net by the captain, Thiago Azulao, the top scorer in this season's Champions League, with six goals at the right end, but not on that occasion. Great start for Widad after being under a little bit of pressure in the opening minutes. And that was 1-0. They didn't really create any serious chances in the first half after that. hit with the sucker punch and a stroke of half-time. Ayman El Hasuni teeing up Yaya Jabran had a lot to do, but he wasn't pressured. He was able to line up the shot, and what a terrific shot it was as well from range. And uh, that was 2-0. And you really feared for Petro Luanda after that. He did nearly get a goal back at the beginning of the second half. Gleason with the effort on the left foot, which came off the upright, and Yano with the follow-up over the bar. A 
And then this chance for El Mutaraji saved by Wellington Lima. Brazilian goalkeeper didn't really have many saves to make, but this was the third goal, El Mutaraji. Back to Guillaume Benza and the Congolese striker. Widad's leading scorer this season, making it 3 0. But the home side getting a goal back. Nine minutes from time, the job free kick going all the way in. Beyond the reach of the goalkeeper. And that was something for the home support to shout about. But they finished with 10 men after William Suarez was uh, sent off. And a 3 1 defeat for them. They have a mountain to climb in the second leg next week. We'd had Casablanca, strong favourites now to go on and reach the final. The other semi-final, remember, later this evening in Cairo, al Ahly, the record 10-time champions, chasing a third Champions League in a row. They're at home to the Algerians of Entente de Setif, the first leg tonight, and the second legs of both of these ties next weekend. That's the next one, then, this evening. 9pm Cairo time, al Ahly against Entente de Setif. Hope you can tune in for that one. From now here in Luanda, it is goodbye from us.